Hey guys, Cat McAdam here, and I'm gonna be making some fruit compote, I guess that's what it's called, with some honey lime dressing. So this fruit compote dessert thing, whatever it's called, um, I had found it first on Tasty, and originally it had strawberries, bananas, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, kiwis, and mangoes with a honey lime dressing, and I fell in love with it ever since. And this time it's a little different. What I'm going to show you is a little different because it doesn't have the mangoes and doesn't have the kiwis. And instead it has pineapple. So this should be fun. And actually what's great about this recipe is that it is actually pretty versatile. Because it's mostly fruits and berries. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, so let's start with the ingredients. I know you can't see them, but... Blueberries, blackberries, raspberries underneath, bananas, pineapple, strawberry, the lime honey dressing, which is one lime and a, two teas, not two teaspoons, two tablespoons of honey. So let's put this all together. First, strawberries, big bowl, okay? One pound of strawberries. Ah, no, 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 no. Get off of there. Hold on. Okay, there. Thank you. Okay. So usually I just kind of push it off to the side. Kind of like that. Now. Okay, there we go. Blueberries. Yes, please make sure that you wash all your fruit. Uh, the strawberries, you could come as big or small as you want. There's really no way, wrong way to do it. So, there's the blueberries. That little bucket makes a great thing to be able to put the trash in. Let's see if I can open these again. There we go. Look at those blackberries. Mm. Come on, all the way in. There we go. And it would be... I would typically say probably two things of blueberries. And two things of blackberries, but hey, you do you. And now, the raspberries. Look at all those raspberries. Mmm. I'm saying mmm to a lot of things. Come on. All the way out. All the way. There we go. Yep, one more. Come on. Good. Okay. Now for the pineapple, I did very little pineapple because I don't know how the citrus is going to affect this, so this should be interesting. Ah, oh, now you too. Ah, yes, you too. Up there, up there, up there. Then banana. Um, it asked for two bananas, but um, honestly. You could probably do more. This was technically four bananas, but some of them are a little softer than I really liked, so. And now, make sure you give that a stir. There we go. And the pour on. I knew what I forgot to grab. I forgot to grab a big spoon to stir. Uh, yeah. Hold on for one second. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Here's our spoon. Technically, I had already... <laughs> that was the spoon. I already gave a complimentary stir, but hey. Might as well see it. Okay, yeah, that's good. And now it's all wrapped up, and you can stick it in the fridge for however long you want. 30 minutes, an hour, overnight, or you could just take a spoon and eat it right now. Either way, it is delicious. 
All right, and after all this waiting, here's the results. Now, in all technicality, I had already had a bowl. So it was a little tart, sour. So this here is more of, I added a little extra drizzle of honey just to see how I would do, so. Okay, goodbye here. Okay, actually that wasn't too bad. Hold on. Oh yeah. A little extra drizzle of honey makes a difference. So if your strawberries just happen to be out of season, and it seems just a little sour, just add a drizzle of honey into your bowl and mix it, and then you're all good. Okay? And that's it. That is the fruit salad compote stuff with honey and lime dressing. Um, ooh, bad lighting. <laughs> Still bad lighting. Fuck. I got an idea. Oh, it's not that great lighting, but oh well, that's okay. I'll live. Okay. And there you have it. That is a fruit salad compote stuff with the honey lime dressing. Um, do it again, dork. And that's it. That is uh, fruit salad compote stuff with the honey lime dressing. Um, tell, let me know how that went. Um, did you like that? Don't like it? Um, Leave me, leave me comments down below whether you liked it or not. Um, if you did like it and you want to see more of them, hit that like button. Um, I will put the original recipe of this down in the description below. So, um, uh, that's it. So, um, see ya. Bye.